welcome to our channel and my deep stretching class. My name is Steja. Let's start to loosen up the body with the active stretching and little warm up. So, check that your knees are soft, chest is lifted and start to bring your arms up and down. Inhale, exhale. Think about your body is tall. Stretch as much as you can high up. Let's warm up a little bit the muscles before we start to do deep stretching. <laughs> Then open your chest and arm, just a little stretch, stretch in your chest, activate your core. Easy rotation from your spine. Check that you are not lifting your shoulders. Keep your, keep your shoulders down. <laughs> it's so easy always. Always automatically lift the shoulders up. Breathe. Great. Then just open your chest, hold here a few seconds and bring your arms back together. Very good. Great. Then rotating your pelvis. This feels maybe a little bit funny, but <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> Both directions. Very good. Then bring your other leg behind your other foot and bend easy, just easy. Feel on your side a stretch, just soft stretch. And then other side. Just soft, keep it again here, not lifting the shoulder up. Great. Then lift your arms up and bend to the other side, then middle again. You can do here a little bit deeper squat, warming up the legs. Breathe high up. Last one. 
Nice. Then, check that you are standing tall. Shoulders down and think about somebody's pulling your hair up. Your knees are soft. Then start to bring your chin on your chest. You can exhale. Roll down. So check that your neck is relaxed. Roll down, exhale, exhale, exhale. And when you are all the way down, inhale and exhale and start to roll up again. And same thing when you come up, stand tall, shoulders down, and we go one more down, one more time down, and you can stand, then stay there. So chin on your chest, roll down, roll down, shoulders relaxed, and then you can stay here. Then straighten your legs and stay here for a while. And you can slowly start to rotate side by side. So rock side by side. Keep your shoulders relaxed, neck relaxed. And then, doesn't matter which side you are staying, you can even open a little bit more your leg position. And stay other side, relax your neck. You feel a nice stretch, your hamstring, maybe even your lower back. At least I feel a little bit my nice stretch in my lower back. Relax your neck. Then come again, middle. Really relax your neck. Then go to the other side. Go as far as you like, it feels good. During this whole class, really listen to your body. You are free to move and find the right position for you. And start all the stretches easy, so not too hard, pushing too hard. Great. Come back to the middle and then you can bring your feet more closer to each other and bend your knees and bring your hands behind your knees and pull yourself up. Relax your neck again so you feel nice stretch in your upper back. And more advanced if you want you can straighten your legs. Pretty nice stretch for your back, maybe even for the hamstrings if they are a bit tight. I even feel my neck. <laughs> Almost the whole body. <laughs> Feels good. Great, and relax, and then start to walk forward. And stay here for a while. Now check here, just that you, again, <laughs> sorry that I'm repeating myself, <laughs> just check that the shoulders are down. <laughs> but I know, so often they automatically go up. Here, if this feels uncomfortable, this position to stay here, you are as well uh, 
you may as well loosen up the feet up and down, heels, heels up and down. Or just stay with me here. Here as well you can move forward and back. <laughs> upper back I think today is exactly good day to do deep stretching I really need it great and then you can bend your knees and round your back. Great. So, then stretching what? You can go and either stay on your elbows this is a little bit easier. You can even put the gym ball behind your back so your neck is not getting tired or if you want you can come down with me a bit more advanced. This leg can be bended straight how you feel comfortable. Just, now try to concentrate always the, the muscle group that we are stretching. How does it feel? If it's too easy, too hard, don't start too hard. <laughs> so, how does it feel? Find the right position. Don't hold your breath. I try to today find the position that I like the most because I know myself. I like to do stretching that the positions are comfortable uh, because it motivates me to do more stretching. If the positions are not so comfortable, I rather <laughs> skip the stretching. So today is, I think, most of the stretchings are my favorite. There are a few muscle groups that I don't do. Do um, maybe so often I should do, but uh, yeah, most of the, the stretching positions I, I do pretty often. I like like the positions. So then pretzel stretching so glutes you can bring the hands e either behind your hamstring this is a little bit easier or if you want to go more advanced above your above your knees knee I think my dog is behind the door. She wants to join the stretching class. If you don't feel this stretch here in your glutes, you can bring even closer, closer this packet to your chest.
Great. Then before we go to the other side, you can bring your knees on your chest and do little circles. And other way around. then other side. So starting from the quad, start easy. You can even close your eyes and just relax. I'm telling you when we are changing the position. <laughs> I'm waking you up. <laughs> Good. And then the Brexil. Glute. Either here or easy was here. Or even if this feels too advanced, you can just hug your knee. That might be as well enough effective. So Great. Then, hug your knees again and little circles, both direction. And bring your knees now down to the side and open your chest. Now try to keep your upper back against the mat and you should feel nice stretch on your chest and a little bit maybe on your lower back. If you want to go more advanced you can bring hand on your upper, uh, upper leg and softly press it down. This is my all-time favorite stretch. Great. 
straight. Then before we go to the other side, think about you stretch your body long. <sighs> Great, then hug your knees again. And bring your knees to the other side. And open your chest first. Either stay here or more adva advanced. <laughs> Do you have any differences between the sides? So I know this example, this side is much more tighter than the other side. on your belly either go here up or a little bit more advanced here up just check that your pelvis is on the floor Loosen up the hips, <laughs> hip flexors. Uh, if you want, you can use pillow as well under your knees. Uh, if this is not feeling maybe nice or if you don't have a gym mat or if the floor is a little bit hard, so use the pillow under your knee. Um, step forward and you can push the torso a bit forward, so end of your thighs, quads, there is the hip flexors, the key player of our lower body. Uh, and more I push my torso forward, there it is. Even turning the upper body direction front leg, you can make it the stretch more advanced. And if I really go over my over my knee line, it's even more horrible. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> the stretch. Just check here that you are not overbending your back. So check that your back is straight. So if I'm honest, um, all the other stretches we are doing today, I do it every, almost like every day. But hip flexors, uh, this is not my favorite one. <laughs> so if I skip something, uh, this is most likely that I don't do it every day. <laughs> I should, but uh, this is a little bit evil stretch. <laughs> but. Now I, I, I really should start to do it again more often. It's easy to do it short stretching for the hip flexor, but like deep stretching. I like to do it with you. <laughs> so this is a, this is a good motivation. you think that I have something weird here, I'm testing today external uh, microphone. So I have here <laughs> microphone. So if you think why I'm sometimes pulling my pants or doing something weird, so I 
hope my voice is today better than uh, previous videos. So, a little bit more. Start this as well, then we, when we go to the other side, so easy. Not pushing too hard, <laughs> not tearing up your <laughs> hip flexors right away. Kidding. Super. Chasing. So you can as well take the sorry, take the your toes foot here and stay if you if you like. But for me today this is a bit too much, so I'm gonna just stay here. <laughs> but that's one option if you like. Or go down here as well so really try out but always check that your other body parts are not <laughs> in from wrong po position so the back is not rounding wrong Getting tension in the shoulders. I am definitely comfortable girl <laughs> when it comes to stretching. <laughs> if you are looking for comfortable deep stretching, come to Thea's channel. <laughs> Two fitness lovers. <laughs> comfortable deep stretching. <sighs> Except the hip flexors. <laughs> Great. Then you can sit down. <sighs> we made it! <laughs> Yay! Uh, sit down, open your legs and just drop your knees down. Great, then inner thighs, feet together, and yeah, how do you feel? Check here so that your other body, you are not sleeping here, <laughs> so. More closer, I bring my heels. More advanced, it, it is. I bend my upper body a little bit more, more forward. And yeah, groins, inner thighs. I guess this is sometimes called butterfly stretch. For me, sometimes the English names for this are a bit challenging. <laughs> I'm not sure did I say Brexel or Brechel before for that glute stretch so sorry if uh, my English is not so perfect or I, if I do a little mistake sometimes. Pretzel is correct, not bugs. <laughs> Great. 
then hamstring, hamstrings. So either easy option when the leg is bended here. Uh, and chest forward or down. Old fashioned way when I was child. Uh, head down, so <laughs> so chest forward. So that was that is easier. And here a bit more advanced. So choose it, what is best for you. And then start easy. Inhale, exhale. So hamstring muscle, muscle there behind your leg. <laughs> Check here, relaxed. Then calves, if you can, pull toes. You feel here how the calves are stretching. If if you are not reaching reaching until here, you can take a towel there or um, like a fitness band, terra band, or even a sock. So it can be, if you are not so flexible, it can be <laughs> very uncomfortable. So you can use some extra help there, extra hand. It's quite a nice stretch. Super. Then other side. First, slowly the hamstring. Left side is definitely more tighter. And the calves as well. Great. Then sit down nicely, either the legs here, if this feels uncomfortable, legs straight. And open your chest, front shoulders, relax your neck. My hands are here. Hands together. forward <sighs> open your chest one more time very 
good. Then bring your arms together, cross, cross them. And bring your elbows to the same level than your shoulders. And push your shoulders now down and lift your elbows same time up. And push them forward, the whole package. You should feel quite nice stretch in your upper back, there between the shoulder blades. Then before we change to just little easy rotation. Relax and other way around. Easy rotation. Then, arms straight and bring your head to the side. Quite nice stretch for the neck. If you want, you can as well bring your hand on your head, just but very softly not pushing too hard. Please, my neck is like super sensitive, always have to do very soft and gentle. <laughs> Check here as well that you are not bending your back, that you sit straight. And you can bring your chin on your chest and if you like you can bring your both hands on your head you should feel this stretch on your neck slowly start to round your back and go all the way down that your elbows are hitting on your knees and stay here you can even like if it's too intense you can even hold support your head with your hands you feel quite nice stretch my my stretch is even going further down Then you can relax your arms and roll up again and go to the other side. And doing the side. These are the muscle usual that you know, if you are doing office job or having lots of stress these muscles are can be tight. Then side by side, 
rotate Stay here for a while and put your hand on your shoulder and look up. Does it feel here on your front side? Nice stretch. And then bring chin on your chest and up and down. Say yes. I love to do stretching with Daya. side by side no more tight hip flexors <laughs> and rolling the shoulders open your chest and then just easy rotation How are you feeling? Do you feel already like super flexible? Oh, <laughs> this is a start. At least a little bit loosen up. rotation. I feel a thousand times better when we started. We are ready. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope it was helpful. Thank you and see you soon again. Bye!